Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with another video for Honey Bee Stamps. Today we're going to be using a couple of different birthday products. These are the, um, what are they, Biddy, Biddy Sentiments and then the um, Snarky Birthday, which I totally love, and then the Layering Balloon Stencil. This is really the star of our show today. Um, so in order to prepare all of my stencils, you certainly don't have to do this. You can absolutely use um, tape, uh, but I do this with all my stencils because it takes me a little bit of time in the beginning, but then I really never have to do it again. So this is um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and it dries repositionable. It's permanent when it's wet, but it dries repositionable. And so I put it on the back of all of my stencils and then I let it dry. Um, and then once I have it all over where I need it to be and it's been dried, I will tap it on my hands a few times. Full disclosure, it will leave a little bit of stick behind the first couple of times that you use it. Um, but that's why I have an adhesive eraser. And so it's typically not an issue for me. And it is so much easier than wasting um, just all of this masking tape or purple tape or whatever every single time I want to use a stencil. Especially in a situation like this, we're going to be making five cards today. Um, and so like I would, after a while with the distress ink, because you know, you can pick up the other colors and there's not really a good way to properly clean it. Um, you just have to keep changing the tape and I'm not interested in doing that. So this is what I do. You do you, whatever makes you happy. Um, so once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and um, get into the distress inking. I use distress ink for all. There is not a single technique in here that we will be using that it, it requires distress ink. Um, so the first one that we're going to do is pretty simple and I don't ever make any of my cards in advance. A lot of the cards that I make are scene cards and they're very involved and so I basically sit down to create and I turn on my camera and you get what you get. Um, which means this is the first time I've ever used these stencils. So I was kind of playing around with whether or not to put the, like, for scene cards, perspective-wise, okay? Um, if it's up front, it's bigger. If it's smaller, it's in the back. So that's kind of how I went into the whole stencil, um, with this being my first one and just being monochromatic. Uh, you're going to see that I end up switching this. And then for the rest of them, I do, I always do the big one first. And then I do the, the um, smaller one second. Uh, that's, I don't know how they were intended, but that's the way that I prefer the look of them. So here, this is that adhesive eraser I was telling you about. So I just cleaned that up. You do want to make sure that if you're going to do this, you clean up the adhesive because it will act as a mask for your ink blending. And then you'll get spots where you don't want them. I would not recommend trying to clean them up with your finger because there's natural dirt and oils and things like that that are on your hands that will then be transferred to your card. You don't want to do that. So for my first one, big shock, I chose blue for my monochromatic look. Um, Again, we've talked about this. I just feel like blue is a neutral. And so I would be able to use this for just anybody's birthday. Um, but actually, I think I'm going to end up using it for uh, my dad's just because of the sentiment that I chose to put on it. Um, he has a big birthday that's coming up this year. And I just thought the snarky little sentiment was funny. I think that all of them are actually very funny. Um, so the one I chose says they say age is only a number. In your case, it's a big one. But then there's all kinds of super funny ones like we're still hot, only now it comes in flashes. Um, make a wish and blow out the bonfire. Do you need a fire extinguisher for all those candles? Um, this may be the year to start lying about your age. Like they're just funny and cute and I like them. Like that's right up my alley. So here you can see I'm going back in with the um, smaller uh, stencil so that I can put those in the forefront. I'm just going to add more ink to them to make them the darker version and then that will bring them forward. Part of the reason how this video came about, I think I mentioned it briefly in my last video, um, was I'm out of birthday cards, y'all. Like, I, <laughs> I don't mail my cards. You guys know that. But I do keep them for, like, my own personal use. And the last couple of... Um, times that we've needed a birthday card, I have been struggling 
through like my little I don't even know container I guess um it's like a little canvas box thing that I keep them in but I have been struggling through them to try and find something that is acceptable so this is option number one which I think is totally cute and you could do this with any color just a simple monochromatic layer them on top of each other lighter ones in the back darker ones in the front now let's mix some colors because that's always fun so for this one I'm going to do um a mustard seed salty ocean and peacock feathers um, and then I'm going to do the same thing that you just pretty much saw me do. And then we're going to add a little pizzazz at the end because, you know, I love a little pizzazz. Um, but yeah, so recently we had gone out to dinner for, um, Eric's family's birthdays. Uh, my sister-in-law Mallory, my brother-in-law Anthony, and then my father-in-law, um, all have birthdays in July. And so I was trying to find three birthday cards at once and I was like, oh Lord Jesus, please help me because I don't know that I have it. <laughs> I don't know what I have going on here. Um, so this is a super quick way. I think all of these cards, even with all the different ways that I was doing them, took me about an hour and a half, which is not bad for five cards. And now I have five birthday cards like that can be used for anybody anytime I need them. And I for sure could have made multiples of the same type of design. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys different ways that you could do them um, and how versatile the stencil is. I'm a big fan of the stencil. So here I've laid down my yellow and my blue. You may have noticed that I did my peacock feathers in the middle last. And that was just to make sure that I kind of got a good blend. Um, sometimes the yellow can get a little lost uh when you're using it and in one of my rainbow cards um you can see that it kind of did get a little lost but it is what it is um so here i'm just going back over top of it with the same colors and again the ones on top are going to be a little bit darker um but i didn't really want to mix it up you totally could okay pps you could absolutely like put different colors in the background and put other colors on top that would work really well for distressed oxides. Here's our little bit of pizzazz. So I have a clear um, glitter pen. I have the Nuvo one. I also have the clear Wink of Stella. I like them both equally. Um, this just happens to be the one that I grabbed. And with the stencil still in place, I am just going to add the shimmers to the balloons that are closest um, so the ones that are darkest that I want to bring, I guess, the most attention to. Um, and this just adds a little something something so that that way you can see that shimmer in the balloon. Um, again, you could totally leave this without the shimmers. But I like the shimmers. You know I like the shimmers. Um, so yeah, that's that's this one. This is option number two. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I have no idea why. So for option number three, we are going to do my rainbow because I love a rainbow. I love a rainbow. I love glitters. This is like full of things that I am a fan of. So in order to do my rainbow, it's not a traditional rainbow. I don't really care. It's my rainbow because it's my card and I pick what I want. I do what I want, people. That's that's how we roll here. Um, so I used picked raspberry carved pumpkin, mustard seed, mowed lawn, salty ocean, and wilted violet. Those are the ones that I use because um, I'm not really a red person. I like the pink more than I like the red. So anywho, we're here. We're about halfway down the card. Um, and so I'm trying to conserve that yellow, but I didn't honestly do that great of a job of it. Um, it just kind of gets eaten up by the colors that are before and after it. Again, I'm trying to be pretty light-handed with the background um, <clears throat> just because I'm going to lay colors over top of it. And so you want, um, you know, you don't want it to be so dark that you can't add any layering to it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So anywho, so we went out to dinner for um, birthdays and then... I needed birthday cards. That's how, basically, how this video came to be about. And here here we are doing this. So this is super pretty. Totally loving this. 
Um, but I'm going to love it even more. This actually ended up turning out to be my favorite one of all of the options. But that's just because of the things that I like. So I'm going to put this back in place. And then I'm going to do all of the same colors over top of it. And then again, we're going to add a little bit of an extra layer. Um, you know, just a little something else to make it a little bit different. And that little something else is what changes it to be my favorite. So... I told you that we did Peanut's birthday um, back in May, had his birthday party, which was really nice to actually have people over because last year, remember, we had to do the garage party because of COVID. Um, so we did that, and then he has made some friends in the neighborhood. And so I didn't, this, I know, I didn't, this, I like the day of, I was like, if your friends want to come over, that's fine. But I think I told you before, like, I didn't want them to feel obligated to get him a gift because my kid doesn't need anything. And um, so we ended up adopting a new friend that day. And um, I had never met him before. And he came over um, with one of the other little boys. And, like, then he's just here for the party, which is totally fine. Um, but now he has become a staple, <laughs> a staple this summer, a staple friend. And I'm super grateful that there are a lot of other kids in the neighborhood um, for him to hang out with. Because that's, I had that when I was a kid. Um, oh, PPS, make sure you're cleaning up in between. Because otherwise you're going to get color contamination and it's not going to be super pretty. You'll have muddier colors. So here with the stencil still in place, I'm going to go back in with a alcohol safe ink. These are just ones that, like, the pens that I have are alcohol safe because I use them so much with Copics. But really, you could use anything that isn't going to bleed, like, because you wouldn't want it to bleed underneath your stencil. And I'm just going to take my time, and I'm going to outline all of the front balloons. And you guys, I mean, honestly, what you're going to see once we take the stencil off, like, it adds so much to the transparency. Um, this will probably be, like, my favorite way to do them because they look so cool. So here you can see, like when you take it off, like you can see that transparency, it really gives that dimension, which you know I'm all about. Here's the difference between the two, one that has an outline and one that does not. Um, and so again, I'm gonna go in with my little adhesive eraser and clean up what I need to clean up. The only other thing I did to this one was I took my white gel pen and I added some little highlights on the front balloons. Um, and I'll be doing this on the next one as well. Just because, again, you know, building up that dimension, um, that's just, that's, I'm all about that. So, anywho, this one ends up being my favorite. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this one ends up being my favorite because rainbows and black outline and things that make me happy. Um, so then for the next one, we're going to go back to kind of that three color blend. This time we're going to do pink, orange, and yellow. Um, and again, we're just going to have something that's different that takes it up a notch. For real, for real, I was lazy. I didn't clean my stencil. The rainbow didn't stain my stencil. I just didn't clean it, y'all. Um, and I did pay a little bit of a price for it at the bottom when I did the yellow like, and there was still some purple left on my stencil. I was being lazy. I should have cleaned it. Do as I say, not as I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. So, he's been a staple. And we recently had his birthday party. Um, and they did it at, like, a... I don't even know what would be in your area. It's scene 75 here, which is, like, a... Dave and Buster's or swings and things, but I, I don't even know if those are all local things or if those are, <laughs> if you even know what they are. It's basically like a mini little video game arcade that also has, um, like, go-karts and batting cages and mini bowling and, um, like, things like that. And it's a really good thing for winter, but they ended up having his birthday party there. And so I took some time off of work. Um, it was actually his day to be with his dad, but I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like it wouldn't really be fair to send him to this birthday party with people that he didn't know um, when I at least knew the child. I had not, I had not met the parents. 
Um, well, that's not true. I did meet them one time when Nathan didn't listen. He was supposed to stay in the backyard. We were leaving to go to the what the rehearsal dinner for the wedding, uh, not ours, um, my brother in law's, and he was supposed to stay in the backyard and with this little boy. And I looked out in the backyard and he was gone. And then, you know, sheer panic induces. Um, so we were looking for him. And then I cut through the backyards. And sure enough, he was at this boy's house, which he was not supposed to be. He isn't even allowed to be there, period, because it is at a point on a main street where there is no sidewalk. Um, so he wasn't allowed to be there at all, let alone leaving the yard. And I, <laughs> I did introduce myself to his mother as I was, um, scolding my child. And then he was grounded for the rest of the weekend. Um, but anywho, so this is really the first time I had ever really talked to them. Back to the cards for a second. So here I've done the same thing. I'm going to do the outline the same as I did before. But this time, instead of just leaving it, I am going to add some Copic coloring to the ones in the front. Um, this does take away from that transparency look that we had on the last one, but it does make them much more bolder. And I am here for that. Um, because I just like a bold, bright look. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing here. We're going to add a little bit of shading more toward the base where the balloon would be gathered. And then in a rounded effect up, um, kind of up the sides. Leaving like a little comma. Like a little comma shape on one side or the other that will be our highlight. And then we're going to kind of... Um, What's the word that I want? That kind of sounded like the Three's Company theme song, didn't it? <laughs> oh, random thoughts. Um, that will kind of, like, we're going to add that white highlight that will accent that highlight that we're leaving with our coloring. But anyway, so we went to scene 75 for his birthday. Um, they had fun the kids were like you know kind of running around and this little boy introduced peanut as his best best friend which was super sweet um and so they did ice cream cake and then they did go-karts and they did laser tag so you have to be a certain height to do the go-karts um he, he's not tall enough he's two inches too short so then he has to ride with somebody well, I'm the person who took him because I felt like I didn't want to send his dad with people he didn't know. But now I cannot ride on the go-karts because I am pregnant. Um, so thankfully, this little boy's dad stepped up and was like, hey, you know, if he wants to go, I will take him with me. And I was a little bit like, I kind of was a little bit like, oh, is he going to go or not? Because, you know, he's kind of shy. Um but he did. He did end up going and, and doing the go-karts. And then for the laser tag, um, I was kind of just going to sit out. And then the girl who was running the party was like, you know, you're welcome to come in and watch. And I was like, me, me, me. Okay, I guess I will. Like, I didn't really, I wasn't trying to helicopter him. But also at the same time, like, I wasn't trying to just sit out there and be bored. So I did end up going in with him, which actually ended up working out because they were running around as children do, like lunatics. And uh, he ended up totally eating it on the floor and hitting a pole and like busting up his knee. And then as soon as that happened, like first words out of his mouth or mom. So we ended up, I was like, okay, you know, like nothing's broken. Suck it up, buttercup. Like we're gonna power through I said because if we walk out of here like you're done playing and he was like no, no I want to keep playing I'm like okay um that was Emma did you hear that did you hear that her shaking it off over there like Taylor Swift like what is she doing that was so loud um but anywho so we did that and um you know all that fun stuff here I'm just going to add that little white highlight that we talked about and then they always have, all of these places always have the, like, prizes where you win tickets, you know, you earn tickets, and then you take them and you purchase the things. And all of the things are basically, like, the things that you can actually afford are the equivalent of things that you would purchase at the dollar store. And the things that you cannot afford are, like, televisions. And which, if you had enough 
to purchase the television, you would have spent less money if you just purchased the television. Like, honestly. <laughs> um, so we did stand in line for five ever so that he could pick something out for his tickets. Back to the cards. Here, I did the same rainbow thing that you watched me do before, but this time I'm going to use Glimmer Paste from Nuvo. This is the Moonstone. This is my favorite one because it takes on the color of whatever's underneath this. And dude, so much glitter. I mean, just like so much glitter. It's the cat's pajamas of glitters. Um, and so here I'm just going to use a spatula. I'm going to very thinly spread that across. Um, something to note, do not let this sit. As soon as you are done, clean off your spatula, clean off your um, work surface, clean off your stencil. Because this is the equivalent of like a glitter glue and you will never get it off if you do not wash it off right away. Because even like when I spread it real thin, um, there's a lot of times where I still have to go back and um, just scrub the daylights out of it. So anywho, we stand in line for one million years to buy our dollar store um, things. And there's a family that's ahead of us that has like six kids. And apparently the children did not have any idea what they wanted beforehand. The place is closing. There's all of like, there's a bunch of people standing in line. Um, I felt, I'm just going to recap the... Um, backgrounds and then I'm going to show you them with their sentiments on. Um, there is a combination of heat embossing, of die cutting, and um, little like the Nouveau drops and gemstones. That's how I put them together but this video was already super long and you've already seen me do that like 500 times. Um, but so anyway we get up there and he wants to spend his tickets on a suction cup bouncy ball and a slap bracelet. That's what we ended up going with after all of the time that it took us to wait in line, which I really feel like I could have purchased at the dollar store for approximately $2. Um, but he was happy with it. And um, so yeah, so that's what we did um, most recently for, for birthdays. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a lot of different techniques. I hope if you have this stencil or something similar to it, that it gave you some ideas. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next video.